Today we're going to be looking at uh, freezing and unfreezing commands you have running in the shell uh, with some keyboard shortcuts uh, that are commonly used. Um, so let's just do this real quick. I will make a simple while loop uh, and I will just have it loop forever until I kill it. We will clear the screen, print the date command, uh, print the date and time, and then we'll have it sleep for one second and then loop. So do that and uh, we have to put the do here. Uh, now every second is going to update this little clock and we're going to see uh, the seconds move forward. Uh, if I hit control S, it stops. We have frozen the command. Uh, and uh, I'm telling you this because you might need to freeze a command at some point in the future. You also might accidentally hit that. Uh, control S is very common for saving files in a lot of programs. Uh, so it might be something, and I use uh, Tmux, and I use Control A a lot, so you might accidentally hit it, and if you didn't know what was going on, you're like, why did my program freeze? Um, to unfreeze it, you hit Control Q. So Control S to freeze, Control Q to unfreeze, Control C to kill. Let's use this in another scenario. Let's go ahead and just say find, and I'll list out all the files on my computer. Here we go, and they're going and if I hit control S, it will freeze them. And if I hit control Q, it unfreezes them. So you're going, you're going, going, oh wait, I wanna stop it. And then maybe you wanna scroll up or whatever you can. And then control Q to continue. Control S, control Q, control, oh, the script finished running. Uh, so that is those commands. I do thank you for watching. I thank you for listening to me. I hope you found this useful. Uh, whether you need to use the control S command or you accidentally hit it in the past and you didn't know why things were frozen. So I do thank you for watching. I thank you for listening. And I hope that you have a great day.